out of that shoulder workout. Oh my goodness. All right, so before I get into my devotion, I'm gonna record my time, but let's get started. We're on our plank hold. We're gonna go on into the Plank Training Club Facebook page. You can get the little link for it. Report here, it says. Show more. Click on the link. Let's see, it wasn't working yesterday for some. Nope, still internal error. Okay, so, seven day debrief. Let's try again. Let's try this one, report here. There we go. That one works, the other one just isn't working for some reason. So we're going through. I've been doing level two. I was almost up to level three this last time around, but still level two. How many did you hold? Did 55 minutes last week that I had on, on the timer at least. And will you hold? Well, my goal is 35, minimum of five a day. And last name. You already got my email address. Submit. All right. So that is done. Now we're going to go to our devotion for today. It is Monday. I'm on page flip. October 25th, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. John 17, 1. I recently turned to Jesus' prayer recorded in the gospel of John after the last sculpture and before he was arrested, Jesus prayed a heartfelt, powerful prayer for his ordained work, for his disciples, and for all who one day know him. Today, as I read the introduction to the prayer, I was stuck by John's point that Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven. Another tragedy had recently hit the news. People who interviewed murmured such things as our thoughts and prayers are with the victims. But those words cannot sound hollow. Our thoughts do little change painful situations for those who are suffering. As followers of Jesus, we can follow his example. He turned his gaze towards his Father in heaven. He had specific focus for his prayer. He directed his loving request to the one who created and sustained our world, whose heavenly kingdom had come and will come. We don't have to murmur prayers to the universe or offer vague wishes into either, into ether. We can lift our eyes confidently to our loving Father and our Savior who is seated at his high right hand, like Jesus. We know where to look for help. Jesus was about to face unimaginable suffering, so he lifted his eyes to heaven. When our loved one suffer, our loved ones suffer, and bring our broken hearts to Jesus on the behalf, we do the same, lifting our eyes to heaven. Sharon Hicks, face that today. If you catch yourself wishing or hoping for something, stop, lift your eyes to heaven, and turn those thoughts into a prayer. Someone suffering tend to say, you're my thoughts and prayers. And they are in your thoughts as well as your prayers, but 
you have to remember to lift them up. Don't just say you're my thoughts and prayers, but literally stop. Lift your eyes to heaven and pray for them. Lift them up to the Lord Jesus for all their healings to happen. Okay, take that in for just a second. What is our motivation today? Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and can believe it can achieve. If you believe you can do something through the power of the Lord and Jesus Christ, all things are capable and you can do all things. I really don't want your bum bum in my face, but there you go. Nothing is impossible. We can do all things. So whatever the mind, can, mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I'll just stick with that one today. Poop. Edit it. I'm starting to run short on time. Waits were a little bit longer today. All right. Hold it up here. Ten more seconds. I know. Short one for today. Seven minutes only. Here we go. Push back in child's pose. That with the plank girl earlier, right? Ah, excellent job. Cat, you have been on my map. We get in there, we get our plank, we get our devotion. Remember, lift someone up to, prayer, to the Lord today in prayer. Or just wish them thoughts, but stop and pray for them. Pray for what they're needing and lift them up and watch things happen. And pet your cat or your animal if you have them.